What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna look at the stock of Domino's Pizza, ticker symbol DPZ. Domino's runs a very plain business. They don't sound very exciting, but they've actually been a growth monster over the past decade. They've really beaten the S&P 500 and a lot of other stocks as well. Is it still a good deal today? Let's find out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. I do a lot of stock analysis videos on this channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one. All right, let's get started. So here are Domino's segment revenues and profits. You can kind of see their business laid out here. In blue, we have revenue. U.S. store revenue includes their own stores and also franchises. So if they, you know, if you want to start a Domino's Pizza, you pay them a royalty fee and that's called a franchise. And they make money that way as well as you can see here. The bulk of their revenue actually comes from the supply chain segment. So what this is, is the distribution of food, equipment, and supplies to other franchise stores. And finally, you have international franchise segment, which doesn't really account for a lot of revenue, but the margins are ridiculous, as you can see from the size of the green bar there. The green is the operating profit, the blue is the revenue, so... You know, it's about 70 or 80% profit margins. This is Domino's stock. As you can see, the return has been close to 2,000% over the past decade. However, even after all that growth, it is still just a $14 billion company. They're yielding about 1.03% right now and is trading at about 28 times earnings. Here is Domino's Pizza's balance sheet. I really don't like what I see here. They have a huge liabilities to assets ratio. Most of these liabilities are debt, as you can see with the debt to assets ratio. You don't normally see ratios exceeding 100%. Their debt to assets ratio is over 200%. Very high leverage there. The current ratio and the quick ratio are measures of liquidity. So they don't have any liquidity issues. They can easily meet their short-term obligations. But, you know, I have major concerns about the long-term solvency of the company. Interest coverage ratio is just 4. That's pathetic. That means their profits before interest and taxes can only cover their interest expense about 4 times. So that's not good. That's cutting it close there. So yeah, the balance sheet gets a D minus. All right, guys. So here's a DuPont analysis for Domino's Pizza. A few items I need to clarify before we go forward. Again, DuPont analysis, just looking at return on equity, breaking it down into its three parts to better understand how the company makes money. One thing I need to clarify is that it kind of looks like they skip a year but they really don't. They're just changing their fiscal year end. They went from January to December, and then they changed their minds. They want to make it January again. So they can't make up their minds on that. kind of makes it look screwy here. But these are five different years. We're not skipping years. The other thing I want to say is the equity multiplier is really funny because their leverage is actually extremely high but they have negative uh, stockholders' equity on their balance sheet. It's kind of an accounting thing. I uh, don't want to get bogged down by it, but it really kind of screws up the interpretation there. So I'm going to focus more on net income margin asset turnover, kind of ignore the multiplier and the you know consequential ROE here. But okay, their margins are pretty good. I love that they're increasing. Their asset turnover is extremely good. Now, it has been higher in some years, but, you know, it's always about three, sometimes four. Extremely good. That means for every dollar of assets, they can generate between three and four dollars of sales. Extremely efficient in their use of assets. You normally see turnover like that for grocery stores or businesses like that. 
here you have that kind of turnover plus you have way better margins than you would see in a grocery industry so very attractive business model So Domino's Pizza is a bit of a dividend monster stock. They've doubled their dividend in about four years there, going from about $1.52 in 2017 all the way up to $3.12 most recently. Pretty amazing. Share buybacks are something they've been doing a lot of. This past year, they went kind of nuts with it. I think their stock went down along with a lot of stocks during the COVID pandemic. And they took full advantage of it, buying back a heck of a lot of stock. Now, unfortunately, that has ruined their balance sheet. Here's Domino's revenue growth over time. You're looking at about $1.6 billion in 2012, all the way up to $4.1 billion in 2021 here. Pretty incredible. The growth in profits has been even better doing just about five times from 2012 to 2021 here. So from about 105 million to close to 500 million. All right, guys, so the question really is, what is Domino's growth going to be going forward? We know they've been incredible, but trading at 28 times earnings, we gotta see some growth here to make it a good deal. Here's the revenue growth expectations for the next 10 years. Analysts are forecasting pretty modest growth. So they're not going to see an incredible amount of growth from new store openings, obviously. If they're going to experience growth, it's going to have to come from increasing margins. All right, guys. So at this point in the video, I want to use an intrinsic valuation model to help come up with a fair value for domino stock i'll be using the free cash flow to equity model now this model says the value of any stock any asset really is equal to the sum of all the cash you're going to get from owning that asset you know discounted back to present value with some kind of discount rate given domino's balance sheet we're going to have to go with a pretty high discount rate here at least 10 percent I think honestly 12% might be more fair here. You gotta require a, a higher return when you take on more risk. So I'm going to use those revenue forecasts. I'm gonna walk you guys through a spreadsheet, kind of show you my 10 year plan for Domino's free cash flows, and then come up with a terminal value after that point. And we'll come up with then with a fair value for the stock. So let's jump into it. All right guys, here's my base case for Domino's Pizza. I went ahead and plugged in the revenue growth estimates from analysts. That gives me a stream of revenues. So we'd be going from about $4 billion in revenues this year to about close to $8 billion 10 years from now. Not that unreasonable, guys. I think I can see that for Domino's. So I take those revenues, multiply them by the net income margin to get a stream of profits or net incomes. Now the margin, I'm gonna go with 11.9%. That's what it was most recently. Let's just assume it stays that way forever. We're gonna revisit that assumption afterward, but let's just assume that for now. Then I gotta subtract some kind of reinvestment needs for the company. The more you grow, the more you need to reinvest. Since they are not expected to be growing their revenues by much, they don't need to reinvest very much. And so you see lower reinvestment rates here throughout. That gives me a stream of free cash flows to equity. So let's plug those in, discount them back to present value, and figure out what the company's worth. All right, guys, so if I take those cash flows, I then take the terminal value. Remember, that terminal value is the cash flows you're going to get in the 11th year divided by the discount rate minus the perpetual growth rate. And we're assuming 2% for that. They can grow cash flows at 2% forever after the 10th year. If we do that, we discount them all back to present value, discount that terminal value back, we are left with a total firm value of the following. And you got all these components here. 
it's only worth about eight billion dollars or two hundred and five dollars and eighty one cents per share that does seem a little low the stock is trading at about 360 right now uh, keep in mind i'm using a 10 percent discount rate i typically use a lower discount rate but with domino's pizza's balance sheet you got to go with a higher rate you got to require a higher return it's not going to be a good deal under this assumption let's revisit our assumptions assuming margins can grow all right guys so back to our spreadsheet we got three assumptions you got revenue growth margins and you got reinvestments so for my reinvestments the the assumptions that i'm plugging in are already pretty low to be honest that's already pretty optimistic the revenue growth i can't go higher than the average analyst forecast but margins yeah they could be better they could continue to grow let's assume they grow over time i'll bet modestly this is not a company i really expect them to grow their margins by leaps and bounds but let's say they can increase those margins just a little bit every year so we're going from 11.9 to 12.3 and let's say that continues a little bit each year to get to the 10th year margins are 15.2 percent let's see how that changes the value so the value jumps to about 250 bucks a share still not close to being a good deal if we can use a lower required rate of return maybe seven and a half percent here all of a sudden the stock becomes worth 382 dollars per share now that's up to you i think i want a higher return when i'm looking at a company as risky as Domino's is on their balance sheet but that is worth you know showing you guys just FYI, if you want a 7.5% return, you, know, you expect margins to grow. Domino's could be a good deal right now. Alright guys, here are my final thoughts on Domino's Pizza stock. First thought is to hit that like button. It really helps support the channel. Okay, but seriously, I am shocked. This company has a ridiculous amount of debt. Yeah, it's probably really helped some of the shareholders who were in earlier. You know, when you own a stock and they buy back a lot of their stock using debt. Uh, yeah, that can really boost your, your stock price. But for anybody getting in right now, it's a really risky company right now with that balance sheet. There's not a lot of room for mistakes. Now, luckily, they do operate in a business where it's. I do think even an idiot could run it correctly. I think that they probably will not make too many missteps. However, I, I just, you know, I got to require a high rate of return. And when you do the math, you're just not going to get it with Domino's unless we see pretty incredible margin expansion that you normally don't see in the food industry. So I'm not optimistic about some kind of unexpected, you know, margins coming our way for Domino's. So for me, it's definitely a pass. Uh, those are just my thoughts, though. Let me know what you guys are going to do in the comments below. Thank you for watching.